Welcome back, welcome back, and in all, glad you all could come back to hear the word. Not only hear the word, but be doers of the word. Glory be to Ahaya. I sure hope when you woke up this morning, you told Father God, thank you. It is he that woke us up. We didn't wake ourselves up. No, we can't do that. We can't even breathe on our own, believe it or not. I sure hope you told your loved ones that you love them. We're not promised tomorrow, not even the rest of this day. We're still in the book of Ezekiel, and today we're on chapter 22. Jerusalem is condemned. I hope you all are saved and have given your life to Christ Jesus. You're living a life of daily repentance because we are in these fleshly bodies. And the flesh, of course, always warring with the spirit. And you're reading God's word daily, preferably the King James Version of the Bible, going down on your knees in prayer and crying out to the Father in sincerity and truth because Father seeketh such from his children. And uh, if you don't know the Father, please lay down your life and give it to him. And... Um, Cry out to the Father in sincerity and truth. Read God's word. Go down on your knees in prayer and cry out to him till you hear from him. Don't stop crying out to him till you hear from him. He will hear your cries. He know your heart. And um, as I said, seek him in sincerity and truth. Uh, not only he'll hear you, he'll answer your cries and he'll begin to teach you the word of God. He taught me and he's continuously teaching me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory be to higher. So before we begin, I, I tell you the truth because I love you all and Father God loves you more. Before we begin our reading, we're going to say a prayer for children of all ages. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father God, we come to you today to say thank you. Thank you, my Father. Thank you for this day. Thank you, Father, for every day. Thank you, Father, for giving us parents that love us and train us up by your word. Thank you, Father, for you being our Heavenly Father. And thank you, Father, for teaching us to treat others the way that we want to be treated with love and respect. We love you, my Father. It's in Jesus' mighty name that we pray. Amen. Amen indeed. Amen. Hallelujah. Ezekiel chapter 22. Jerusalem is condemned. Sometime later, the Lord said, Ezekiel, son of man, are you ready to condemn Jerusalem? That city is filled with murderers. So remind the people of their sins and tell them I am saying, Jerusalem, you have murdered many of your own people and have worshipped idols. You will soon be punished. Those crimes have made you guilty, and the idols you made, the, the idols have made you unacceptable to me. So your final punishment is near. Other nations will laugh at you and make insulting remarks, and people far and near will make fun of your misery. Your own leaders use their power to murder. None of you honor your parents, and you cheat foreigners, orphans, and widows. You show no respect for my sacred places and treat the Sabbath just like any other day. Some of your own people tell lies so that others will be put to death. Some of you eat meat sacrificed to idols at local shrines and others never stop doing vulgar things. Men have sex with their father's wife or with women who are having their monthly period or with someone else's wife. Some men even sleep with their own daughter-in-law or half-sister. Others of you accept money to murder someone. Your own people charge high interest when making a loan to other Israelites, and they get rich by cheating. Worst of all, you have forgotten me, the Lord God. I will shake my fist in anger at your violent crimes. When I'm finished with you, your courage will disappear, and you will be so weak that you won't be able to lift your hands. I, the Lord, have spoken, and will not change my mind. I will scatter you throughout every nation on earth and put a stop to your sinful ways. You will, be punished. you will be humiliated in the eyes of other nations. Then you will know that I, the Lord God, have done these things. The Lord said, Ezekiel, son of man, I consider the people of Israel as worthless as the leftover metal in a furnace after silver had been purified. So I am going to bring them together in Jerusalem. I will be like a metal worker who, conflict, who collects that metal from the furnace and melts it down. I will collect Israelites and blow on them with my fiery anger. Thy fiery anger, yes. They will melt inside the city of Jerusalem like silver in a furnace. Then they will know that I, the Lord, have punished them in my anger. The Lord said, Ezekiel, son of man, tell the people of Israel that their country is full of sin and that I, the Lord, am furious. Their leaders are like roaring lions, tearing apart their victims. They put people to death then steal everything of value. Husbands are killed and many women are left as widows. The priests of Israel ignore my law. 
Not only do they refuse to respect any of my sacred things, but they don't even teach the difference between what is sacred and what is ordinary, or between what is clean and what is unclean. They treat my Sabbath like any other day, and so my own people no longer honor me. Israel's officials are like ferocious wolves, ripping their victims apart. They make a dishonest living by injuring and killing people. And then the prophets in Israel cover up these sins by giving false visions. I have never spoken to them, but they lie and say they have a message from me. The people themselves cheat and rob. They abuse the poor and take advantage of foreigners. I looked for someone to defend the city and to protect it from my anger, as well as to stop me from destroying it, but I found no one. So in my fierce anger, I will punish the Israelite leaders for what they have done, and the Israelites, and they will know that I am furious. I, the Lord, have spoken. Mm. Well, God's willing, tomorrow, we're still in the book of Ezekiel. We'll be on chapter 23, Two Sinful Sisters. You all tell your loved ones that you love them when I promise tomorrow or not even the rest of this day. Tell them all about Father God who gave his only begotten son, Jesus Christ, who died on the cross for all our sins. He didn't die for one or some. He died for us all. If you haven't given your life to Christ Jesus, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Nobody else died for our sins. And we people think they have a lot of time. Believe you me, we don't have a lot of time at all. Okay? Father God says, love the Lord thy God with all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, and love your neighbors as yourself. That is not something up for debate or discussion. That is something we all must do, so please do it. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, let it go. Let it go. All right? Please let it go. If you want your Father in heaven to forgive you for your sins and your transgressions, and you know we all have them, then you must forgive your fellow man. I don't care who he or she is or what they have done. All right? I love you all to love the Lord. And Father God loves you more. You all have yourself a beautiful, blessed day. Children of all ages, from youngest to oldest alike, God bless you. Bye-bye.